I'm going to tie a Canon's Bunny Dunn, and I'm starting off with a size 16 dry fly hook in the vise. And the thread that I use is an 8 aught gray. And I'll get this started at about the 3 quarter mark in the hook shank or so, and take enough wraps to get it secure. And I'll remove that tag. I am going to be tying in some uh, micro fibbit tails. Um, so if you have trouble keeping them separated, you can leave that tag end on and then fold it up between them and that'll help keep it keep it separated but I'm going to show a couple of uh, techniques that that'll help get you good separation maybe without doing that the upright wing is going to be a uh, snowshoe rabbit foot and I'll take off a clump of material and I'll take off um, a little bit more than I want for size and that's because I'm going to weed out all these really dense fibers at the bottom and as I do that I'm more than likely going to catch a couple of a couple of the the tip fibers that I'll pull out I want this to be a hook shank in length so I'll take a rough measure and tie that in on top and then I'll wrap back away from the eye with a couple of strokes and then remove these end fibers and what I can't cut I'll tie down. Bring my thread back up. I'm going to hold this clump up, take some turns underneath, kind of pinch that, that up and then I'll take a couple more around the base kind of parachute style to keep that wing standing up but not too many I don't want to ruin kind of the the shape of it so I like the look of that um, I'm gonna come back down with my thread and leave it at about the the barb in the hook or where the barb would be and I can tie in my micro fibbit tail so I got my micro fibbits here you can also if you don't have micro fibbits use um, just hackle, done hackle. And I'm not going to get too caught up in counting. Take maybe three to five. So I'll measure these out to be about a hook shank in length. And I'll start by tying these in kind of on the side of the hook. And then as I get further up, I'll rotate them over the top and you can see they kind of splay out nicely. If you need additional separation you can take one wrap underneath and again finally if, uh, if you're having a trouble with that just leave that tag end on and pull that up through that'll give you some some nice separation with the thread. So now I'll tie in the body and for that I'm going to use a, a natural goose biot <clears throat> and I'll take off a long fiber and tie this in tip first and I'll wrap this down to my tail and back up and I'll leave my thread behind the uh, the upright wing but if you find that that wing gets in the way then you can take uh, take a couple of wraps up uh, to the eye and that'll help hold it and hold it in place I'm going to attach my hackle pliers and start to wrap this up side by side wraps or I'm sorry slightly overlapping wraps to give you that really good segmented look and when I get to my thread then I'll tie it off and once it's tied in I'll trim and then finish securing that the thorax is going to be 
<clears throat> just a, a gray dubbing and I want to make sure that I dub both in front and behind. And this will also help give you some final positioning of that of that wing. So dub behind and in front and you want to play around with the uh, the angles so that you don't have any uh, gaps in the bottom or on top nice and smooth and then I'll finish building out a thread head and then whip finish and trim drop of head cement if you like on the on the threads and also on the uh, body and that is Cannon's bunny done.